time for GMA's great car clean out. An estimated 40 million Americans are hitting the road for the 4th of July. Adrian, I may be one of them, but you're here to help us eliminate the mess and the stress. Well, think about it. I mean, it's just one big chore to clean your car that we all dread. But when you have a clean car, don't you feel better about yourself? Yeah, I feel like it's faster, too. If you feel like it's faster. You feel like you have your stuff together. So we teamed up with the website cars.com to give a family a messy car makeover. And here are their tips for a safe ride that is so fresh and so clean. Life and cars can get messy. The Ziegler family of Seaford, Long Island knows this all too well with mom Tiffany's schedule riding with Liam, Gavin and Aiden, all under the age of seven, plus the family pet. How hard is it to keep your car clean with three kids and a dog? Get Seriously, it. it's horrible. Bottles, toys and whatever that you have to bring, you bring it. We even asked the kids. How dirty is your car? Dirty. Oh. The Zieglers have three road trips planned this summer. Time for a messy car makeover with Cars.com editor-in-chief, Ginny Newman. Why get it clean right before a road trip? You're going to be spending hours and hours and maybe days in your car, and so you want it to be kind of warm and welcoming. First step, it might get scary, but remove anything that doesn't belong. I need surgical gloves, the dreaded lollipop stick. Up next, vacuum. Wipe down the dash and cup holders. Last, clean the interior windows. We brought in the pros for that. And then don't forget your car's exterior. Give it a wax. Think about it as sunblock for your car, so it's gonna help protect that exterior from the hot summer sun. Now that the car is clean. Keep tote bags tucked around the car to just help keep that clutter contained for a bit. <laughs> Use removable silicone muffin cups to keep cup holders clean. This you can wash in the dishwasher. And create a road trip kit with summer necessities like sunscreen and towels. Here's the car before and after. Time for the family to see. This looks amazing. Hey guys, oh hey. my goodness. Wow. Well, there you have it. They're extremely happy. Another great tip, especially after those trips to the beach, Michael, you would probably know this having kids yourself. Mm -hmm. Sand does not usually come off with water. Yeah. Right? So you track it in the car. Use baby powder on your skin or your kid's skin. It comes right off. It's like magic. Well, you make them walk home. Or, I'm joking. Okay, I'm see? joking. <laughs> Adrian, I'm joking. You can clean my car anytime. No. <laughs> like, you're volunteering. I heard you say yes. And I am here now. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you so much for that. And I'm Thanks, here Michael. now with John Leakoff <laughs> yeah, from John. Consumer Report. It's a nonprofit membership organization. And John's going to give us some tips, more tips, from your recent online article. And John, I'm getting ready to go on the road. What can I do to make sure that my stuff is in order? Well, the first thing you want to do, Michael, is you want to make sure your brakes are in order. If that pedal's pulsing, okay, if you're feeling a grinding or anything like that, get it to a shop. Fix it before you go out on the road. Mm -hmm. Next, when you're cleaning your windshield at the gas station, clean those headlights. Because you know what? If there's bugs on the windshield, there's bugs on those headlights. And finally, our tests show that if you have wipers on your car that need to be replaced, they only get six months of life. So basically, replace them. I replaced my wife's after a year. I was like a superhero to her. Really? Only six months? Six months I is what that rubber lasts. Longer. I have a lot of wipers to replace. Yeah, oh, and I yeah. noticed we have a tire here. So what's going on with the tires? We do. We test hundreds of tires a year. You want to see if your tire tread is deep enough. Take a quarter. Okay. Put George's head right there. If you can see above his head in your tire, that means your tires are getting worn out and it's time to replace them before you get on the road. So that's a good tire right here. This it is has a perfect a tire. On it. Exactly. Tire. It should be. All right. But, you know, you're getting ready to go on the road. You have a lot of stuff to pack in the car. What is the best way to pack up? Well, you know what, Michael? The thing you want to do is you want to be super safe with your packing in the car. Okay. So when you're inside the car, Michael, take these bags, for example. You take the biggest bags and you push them all the way forward. All right, let's do that. And you put the heaviest bags on the bottom. Okay. That's so that you keep all your weight to the front. Then take the lighter bags and, and put, you them, put on them on top. top. Perfect Finally, fit. after that, you grab your bungee cord like that over there, Michael, okay. and you want to hook it onto the handle, something like this, ah, because okay. that way it keeps all of the luggage from sliding around when you're hitting the brakes, and you don't want to have anything slide forward. You must have driven with me hitting the brakes. You know all oh, about no, that. No, no, no. The so, next thing. And the bike rack. Right. What you want to do is avoid putting stuff up top, because that's going to hurt your fuel economy. Put it behind here in a cargo tray or your bikes. At $3 a gallon, you're going to save 5 miles per gallon in your fuel economy. 5 miles a gallon just from moving your bikes from the roof 
to the, the to the behind the vehicle. Exactly. Plus, you don't have to worry about the overhead going under a bridge or yes. something like that. And what are these safety items that you should make sure you have in your car? Well, first of all, emergency items. Cables. Because if you have a battery that dies, you're going to want to find someone who's going to help you out. Mm -hmm. Fix the flat. A lot of cars don't come with spare tires nowadays. We found that in our testing of t all these cars. So get a fix the flat. You spray it into the tire, and it'll get you to the next station where you can get a replacement. Emergency kit, and also you want a flashlight, a reflective vest, some tools, and a triangle. Those are going to keep you safe on the side of the road at night. Better safe than sorry. Definitely. John, I really appreciate that, and thank you. And everybody out there, you can get all of Consumer Reports tips, including the emergency car kit list, on our website, goodmorningamerica.com. So make sure you do that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.